Hi Taurus, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. And Taurus, this is going to be what are their true intentions in love? Yes, it is. And Taurus, this is going to be a general reading, so it may or may not resonate. And these energies could be your persons in the reading, okay? If the reading doesn't resonate, you can always check your moon and your rising videos, and you can uh, <coughs> often find your story there. Okay, so let's see what we have. The bottom of the deck is the Page of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, the Hangman, the Death card, and the Queen of Wands. Wow, okay. So you could be dealing with a fire sign here, or a Piscean, or a Scorpio. You could also be feeling stuck here about ending a situation with somebody. Maybe you feel stuck because they have ended it with you. And uh, there could be possible third-party energy here. Let's see, though. Let's not jump too quick. Right now, Taurus, you're in the Eight of Swords energy. Just feeling stuck. I feel like about an ending. Ten of Swords, some type of a painful ending. Maybe there was betrayal here, backstabbing. Be dealing with a Sagittarian right here and a water sign, the Queen of Cups. This Queen of Cups looks just like a Cuban girl that I used to be friends with years ago. <laughs> Identical. <laughs> Every time I see that, I think of her. So let's see, uh, Taurus. You know, I feel like you are, you could be dealing with a Sagittarian because Temperance is here and the Queen of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, wow. Let's see why that Eight of Swords is there for Taurus. Page of Swords, and the Five of Swords. I feel like you're you're thinking about a situation. You could be thinking about uh, you could be thinking about ending it with somebody right here. Mm -hmm. Because we see the Death card next to the Queen of Wands. Five of Cups is here. Wow, this is an ending. Wow, five fives are about crises and change, big time change. And the five of cups is an ending. I feel like you feel stuck here about whether or not you're going to end it with somebody or whether or not, or because they have ended it with you. Why is the knight of wands there? Seven of Wands, you're feeling overwhelmed about a situation. You could possibly re be resisting an ending here. You could. But I feel like you're dealing with somebody... I feel like this is third-party energy. Let's see here. Sun card. Yeah, you're trying to gain clarity in a situation. Okay? And there could be a Leo in this reading, of course, right? When we see the Sun card... And Temperance is showing up, why it's all happening. I feel like this is because of the Sagittarian. Knight of Swords in the reverse. Wow. And the Eight of Wands. I feel like I feel like somebody wants change here, but you could be feeling like you can't create change for yourself in a situation. You could be dealing with somebody who is playing mind games. Yeah, somebody or somebody who maybe is like dealing with other people. And you could simply be not dealing well with an ending. That could be the that could it could be it could be exactly like that. Nothing more and nothing less. Let's see what you want. Taurus wants the page of cups. Judgment and the Eight of Cups. Wow, I feel like you want to give somebody a second chance and end it with somebody else. Walk away from someone else. King of Swords in the reverse. I feel like you're having a hard time doing that. Either that or there is a lot of deception here. And maybe both. Why is the King of Swords there? Why is it? Oh, I feel this could be showing up because you want to walk away and the other person is like not aware of it. Like you, you, you could just be springing it on them. Hey, you know what? Uh, we're, we're done. We're finished. And it could be the case here. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this is in your desire position. 
You could possibly be not, you know, it's, it's hard to make up your mind if you want to be single or not. And you could be dealing with somebody who is a liar here and that, you know, maybe you really want to be single. Their energy is the Ten of Wands. They're carrying a burden, big time. Ace of Wands in the, in the reverse. And the Queen of Pentacles. This is you. I feel like your person can't have a new beginning with you. Something like that, yeah. So you are the one who could be like, yeah, you could be having a hard time making, making up your mind here. Yeah, making a decision to either become single, because I feel like you have to walk away in order to, from somebody, in order to be with somebody else. Or the other person is walking away from you and you're not dealing well with it. Yeah, why is this Queen of Pentacles there? The Moon card. I feel like you're in fear here. Yeah, you have fear here about a third party. Yeah, most likely. And the Wheel of Fortune is, cro is this is your person. I beg your pardon. So your person down here is carrying a burden, and they are in fear of a third party. Yes. And I was saying you're not sure you want to end the situation. Yeah. So crossing your person is the Wheel of Fortune. They could be this Queen of Wands person, the Tower. I feel like they're in the Tower. And this is like a long-term union, Ten of Cups. Mm-hmm. Wow. I feel like for your person, I feel like you are the one, yeah, who is like walking away from a situation or wanting to. Mm-hmm. But I feel like you can't make up your mind exactly. Yeah. Hangman, the death card. You're stuck. You're feeling s stuck about whether or not you really want to end it. Yeah, I feel like you want to hold on to somebody here. Mm-hmm. You definitely want to hold on to somebody here. Or they do. I beg your I beg your pardon. One of you guys wants to hold on to somebody, okay? Yeah, sorry, there's a little bit of noise outside this door here. Kind of distracting me. Yeah, this is about a choice. And somebody's making a choice here. Yeah, they're making a choice to uh, hold on to somebody, and this could, there could be unhappiness because of that. Mm -hmm. And what your person wants is the Queen of Cups. Maybe they are the Queen of Cups. Six of Wands, and the Nine of Swords. This is what your per this is what your person wants. Wow, your person is worried about stuff too. Here, Nine of Swords. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like your person is the one, I feel like you are the one who has a third party here who has, or wants to return to somebody, maybe from the past, or wants to give somebody a second chance. Mm -hmm. But you can't make up your mind here, and your person is worried all about that. Yeah, they're worried about you having victory. And this is clear, crystal clear, you guys. Here's your person in the Nine of Swords energy. They're covering their face here. They can't deal with the situation. And we're going to find out all about your person, Taurus, uh, if you are so inclined, yeah. We're going to find out what they would want to say to you, how they feel, what is blocking them, what they're hiding, what they're fearing, what they really want, and their true intentions on Vimeo. All the extended readings are super affordable, you guys. <clears throat> and uh, if you guys got a message, please give a thumbs up. And the best way is to always get your own reading. Thank you so much, guys.